Okay, now we try to go further with this exercise and try to bring some materials into it and also placing it in a site. Here is an example showing how we could place this uh, pergola in a site. So now when we start we go to windows and materials here we have some materials we could use in order to place the materials we just uh, it is the same function as the paint bucket tool so we click on the material and then we could click uh, in the uh, on the object so if we click here we see that everything got the stone color because it's a one group so in order not to do that we have to go inside the group and click on the material and then try to give the right material and the same we could do for different objects here and there uh, and also for the beams since the beams are one group we could for example select an object and then just give it a material and you see that it is going to be applied for all uh, for the whole uh, group after we do this we go and try to find a way to place it in a, in a site and the idea here we could uh, make use of the um, uh, of the uh, styles here and uh, the styles uh, plus the scenes will give us uh, a control on placing this uh, pergola in, in the site the idea of the scenes here is to create some kind of views saved that we could go and look at it again for example if I create this scene and then move and create another scene and move and another scene and I move if I go to the previous scenes I will see that my position has been saved so this is very good thing to think about and consider while modeling and also while I'm using scenes I could also save many settings like the styles that I'm going to work with basically when I work with styles I have different type of styles which I could use and this will define the way I'm going to present the work so here you could see different type of uh, styles which we, we could use and then uh, when uh, when we want to use uh, if we go to the model for example here is the house and here you could see the styles that had been used so if we go to the original original uh, style that is the default style and we want here to make use of uh, uh, to bring this into into a site what we do is actually we bring um, a background and in order to do that we go into the edit and here we have different functions and the one we should choose is this one uh, which had the something called display watermark and this is in a way the background we click on the plus sign here and we we find the right image to place behind and it's uh, this image for example and we get further and we get some dialog box showing us it is it an overlay or it's a background so we have to say it's a background we go further further and just further and so we have this now as a background we try to work as normal and try to find the right place for for this uh, pergola and the right scale and the right view as well we could also what we could do here we could 
save this as a style as well. In order to do that, I, I click here, create a new style out of this, and then a style will be created. And if I go here, I could find it as a new style. And this also could, if I go to scene, I could also add this as a scene. So I could switch between uh, different styles and different options. So if I go here, for example, I have this scene without any background. If I go back to the scene number four, I see it belongs to to this uh, background. I I in the same way I could I could go further and establish more than one uh, background or one scene and I do it uh, this way as well and I go just to check yeah I could for example use this as a background and I use it as a background and next next finish and I could position my pergola here and place it in the right way and I could here now you see I have two watermarks, I have this active and I could just create another style with it and if I go to the scenes I could create another scene with the new background and so I could switch between scene number four with this background scene number five with this background and in this way you could define different options and styles uh, using this uh, this function the same I could do here with the, with the park bench that we done last time so I have here the bench and I have given it some material and I have created a scene here and also I added some uh, platform so it will fit to the surrounding I could also think of another way another option of placing it in another way in another background so it will fit within a surrounding so this is an take home exercise which you could practice with when you finish this you could always produce an image and this you could do by go to the export and then the two, uh, 2D graphic and here you will get an, a dialog box showing uh, the possibility to uh, to make uh, uh, to save it as a JPEG and then you save it and then you could uh, hand in this as an image and not as a as a model.